Today's Flash Briefing is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. Visit a location today and be empowered. Hello everyone, I'm Eric Ross with this News 5 Now update. Developing right now, one person is dead, another injured following a shooting Saturday morning at the Vineyards Apartments at Woodman and Rangewood. This all unfolded around 8 a.m. One man was already dead when officers arrived on scene. The other had injuries to his face and had to be taken to the hospital for treatment. Police say it appears the two knew each other, but we still do not know exactly what led up to that shooting. El Paso County Public Health asking members of the Karis Christian Center to monitor for symptoms of the coronavirus. Public Health has identified one confirmed COVID-19 case and says other people associated with the church are now experiencing symptoms. People who think they may have been exposed should self-quarantine and anyone who is ill should notify church leadership and get tested immediately. And now let's check in with Alex O'Brien. Tracking a cold front tonight and it will bring us cooler temperatures by tomorrow, but it also increases our humidity and increases lift for thunderstorm potential later on. So Sunday morning we've got some clouds, mostly 60s outside, a nice warm start to the day, but then in the early afternoon hours we'll start to see showers, thunderstorms develop in the mountains. These are expected to move east into the I-25 corridor by later on in the early evening, late evening to overnight into the eastern plains. You will notice that some of these will be particularly strong. So we are watching for that potential of severe weather heading into tomorrow. But tonight we're dropping to the 50s and 60s, waking up with clouds. Overnight lows across the region look mostly in the 60s, some 50s in the cooler spots. And tomorrow's highs, we are mostly tracking 80s. A nice cool down thanks to that front, some 70s into the mountains. Thank you for listening to today's News 5 Flash Briefing, sponsored by Power Credit Union.